Today on Animal Fact Files, we're going to be looking at Stygiomedusa gigantea. If you like learning facts about animals, then subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date on all the new content. This gigantic jellyfish of the deep was suggested by Twitter user Jethro Reading. He's a cool dude and has a pretty great collection of writing on his blog if you want to check him out. He has a novel as well. We'll put links in the description. Before this suggestion, I was not privy to the Stygiomedusa gigantea, which is actually not very surprising. Since their discovery in the first decade of the 1900s, the entire scientific community has only observed this enigmatic creature just over 100 times. That's a little less than once per year on average. What's crazy is it's actually considered to be one of the largest invertebrate predators living in the ocean. Like, seriously, these things are huge. Its bell, or the dome-shaped part of its body, can reach 3 feet in diameter, and its arms more than 30 feet in length. You'd think with a body that size, these jellyfish would be easier to spot. Plus, they've been documented in every ocean in the world with the exception of the Arctic. So what gives? Why can't we find them? Well, one contributing factor could be how well camouflaged they are. They come in a murky red-brown to purplish-red tint. Red light has the least amount of energy on our visible spectrum, and thus it is unable to reach deep into the ocean. Animals that appear red on the visible light spectrum will actually show up closer to black in deeper water, because there's no red light for them to reflect. This makes blending in for red-colored deep-sea creatures easy, and why a lot of them would appear red in visible light. It also seems that Stygiomedusa gigantea prefer deep water. They've been observed anywhere from 1,400 feet to 4,000 feet, and possibly deeper. And it's not like we can just hold our breath and dive that far down. As of this recording, the deepest a human has dived was just over 1,000 feet. And that's still 400 feet above Stygiomedusa gigantea's depth range. We have to use ROVs, or remotely operated vehicles, in order to observe these jellyfish, and according to ROVworld.com, there are around 400 working class ROVs being used. What's more, most of them are being used by oil and gas companies, not exploration for crazy gigantic jellyfish. Their camouflage as well as where they prefer to live could be contributing factors as to why Stygiomedusa gigantea have been observed so infrequently in the past century. Even though they are jellyfish, they actually don't have tentacles, so they don't sting in order to catch a meal. It's guessed that their long oral arms are used to tangle anything edible that may come near, including plankton and small fish. Yes, oral arms. That, that's what they're called. Some even call them mouth arms. Not tentacles. Mouth arms. Mmm. On the bright side, because they're so huge, it's believed that they probably do not have many, if any, predators roaming in the depths. Of course, there is still a lot of ocean for us to explore, so who knows what we're missing down there. With so few sightings, there's not much opportunity for research into these ghostly jellies. Their mating habits and life cycle are still a mystery, though it has been suggested that they may be viviparous, or in other words, give birth to live young. We do know that they have formed a symbiotic relationship with a small fish called Thalassobathia pelicaica. It would seem that these small, deep-sea dwelling fish have learned to live within the bell and arms of the Stygiomedusa gigantea in a wonderful relationship where they get to eat all the Stygiomedusa gigantea's leftovers. Again I say, mmm. Because these fish have formed this relationship with the jellyfish, they have been seen in waters where they otherwise have never been observed. Thanks again to Jethro Reading for shedding some light on this mysterious creature of the deep. For more facts on Stygiomedusa gigantea, check out the links in the description. If you know of an amazing animal we should cover, let us know in the comments. As always, thank you for watching, and be sure to give a thumbs up.